next generation, which I'm very concerned about the second and third generation, is should we insist on passing on our cultural identity to them? Um, and how do you do that in the face of um, a society that isn't always welcoming um, to our rainbow of differences? Uh, I think we should pass along our cultural values, because in those values are strategies uh, and tools for survival, certainly as black people, as people of color, uh, in uh, in America, I also think we we we've always lived in a in a global world, but I think the world is uh, information moves very very quickly, and so we're more quickly able to talk to people across um, space. And I think being bicultural or multicultural uh, only helps us. Uh, it is not a hindrance. I, I um, you know I read about this. Uh, you know, the project to Americanize uh, immigrants, you know, beginning in the 19th, 18th centuries, 19th centuries, through schooling and so on. Um, so you had to abandon your roots to become American. The problem with that for certainly people of color is that you couldn't sort of move. Most immigrant groups could move into American slash white identity, right? But people of color, or, and black people in particular, couldn't move into that identity because white American culture was dependent upon the static black presence against which to define itself. So here we are, or here I was, a black immigrant bumping up against this. On one hand, I'm told to Americanize, and on the other hand, I can't Americanize, right? And so I go back to the values that help, uh, help, help me, and I think help people of color in general sort of deal with this um, schizophrenia, really, <laughs> in American culture, and so incredibly useful, and also for, you know, for holding on to culture for what, for everything else it does for you, making you super fluid, super, super flexible, and I would argue super smart. Very true, it does help uh, uh, brain flexibility and uh, youth. I'm, I'm very passionate about passing on your language, passing on your culture, and I originally thought that I was just doing it for myself, that I was giving this gift to my son, who was kind of reluctant. He did not want to learn Italian. He, I still don't live in Italy, but I did at the time I had married into an Italian family, and family of different, uh, even religious background, so there were quite uh, many differences who I was, the way I was living here, and what surrounded me. And I remember at the time feeling like I really did not want my son just with my flesh and blood. I wanted to have something more of my spirit, of the spirit of my people. And as I kept doing it, and he was resisting it, and eventually I shipped it to my parents when he was seven years old, and I left him there. And he came back fluent, so the Italian was in him. I eventually came to a different understanding of it, and a different perception in terms of just what do we really do for um, each other, for all of us in a society that is multicultural. We are different, and, make, and being different doesn't make us better or worse, it just makes us who we are. And the, the only way to appreciate who we are and to have a very, a, a deeper sense of that is to confront it and to experience somebody else who's not like us. So I had good fortune talk with Dalma uh, about this, and um, I will give a brief parenthesis. I come from a family where I have a father who adores gardening. So I had this privilege, I guess, childhood, I realized later on in life, with a lot of fresh flowers and beautiful fruit trees in the garden. And it was only recently, so many years later from my childhood, that it started to dawn on me that there was this garden metaphor to life. Uh, you know, we have, uh, we've never questioned um, how beautiful is a garden, the different varieties of flowers, the different fragrances, the different you know, light, the colors, they bloom at different times. We just don't see ourselves as part of that expression. We question the differences between our colors, between our contribution, between our cultural heritage all the time. And if we continue doing that, and if we don't 
thriving if we don't appreciate, if we don't pass on who we are as part of that overall uh, patchwork of life, that overall garden of life, if we don't see ourselves truly as the garden of Eden. I don't see how we're going to understand how to live with each other, how to collaborate with each other. I, I believe that this is the millennia where the greatest human advance will not come from technology. There would, some, there would certainly be many. I think that our job is to really learn about being with each other, appreciating each other, working together. And one of the ways is to continue being who we are and looking at the other and saying, oh, that's interesting, I didn't expect that, I didn't think so. Look, I can learn that. And we can only learn it from being together as we are. Um, yes, I do agree that um, knowing another language and being part of the, another culture is a gift that needs to be passed, uh, passed on because I also believe that being connected to the culture of one's parent mm -hmm. gives uh, the child a greater sense uh, of belonging and um, ultimately the child might experience fewer identity issues. And uh, when we think about it, most Americans do identify with another culture, especially in New York. I mean, I can think of um, Puerto Rican Day, Dominican Day, Irish, German, everybody, Chinese, everybody's celebrating their heritage. Even if they are many generations uh, removed, they still want to celebrate it. But as far as language is concerned, one thing I've noticed about uh, American society, language is not really valued so much. And, and I'm, I'm thinking about how much my life is richer because of all the languages that, that, I, can, uh, that I can speak. I can be in a room with Latinos and, and I, I'm at home and I'm learning from them, you know? Um, I'm in Africa, and I, I, I can I can talk to people and learn from them as well. So, if you know another language and you just, you choose not to pass it on, you're really cheating your child out of uh, some wonders in life. <laughs>